Hey everyone, Brian from All Day Ruck Off here, and today we're gonna go through packing for a Go Ruck Light event. So, congratulations, you signed up. They say that's the hard part. Now you've got to get all of your gear together, get it packed for your event. So, we're gonna start off going through team gear, then we're gonna hit required gear that you have to bring, and then optional gear that will make your event that much better. I've got a checklist right here that's available on the All Day Rock Off website. So there's gonna be a link in the description to this. I use checklists when I'm getting ready for Go Rock events. Even if it's a light, I love having this because it just takes all of the thought out of packing. You just go down the list, check the box, you're good to go. Starting off with team gear. Team gear is gear that it's your team's responsibility to bring to the event. So for a GoRuck light event, that is one American flag and a 25 pound team weight. Hit up the GoRuck light website and go to your event page. And from there, there should be a link to Facebook, which well, should take you directly to the event page on Facebook where you can get in touch with your team members. That way you can ensure you only show up with one team weight because chances are if you start the event with multiple, the cadre will make you carry them all. Team event's pretty simple. American flag, team weight. Individual gear. This is a stuff that it's definitely your responsibility to bring. First piece of individual required gear is the ruck. Right here, we've got a Go Ruck Rucker 2.0. This is the bag that I took to my last Gorak Light event. It's the bag that I'm going to be taking to a number of future events. I really like this one and it's a great pack. So I've got a preview video of it up and there's definitely a review coming soon. If you don't have a Gorak pack, that's totally fine. You can bring non-Gorak packs. That's no problem at all. You definitely do have to bring a backpack though. The second piece of required gear is the weight. So you have to show up with weight for your backpack. If you're under 150 pounds, you have to bring 10 pounds of weight. This is a 10 pound ruck plate from GoRuck. You definitely don't have to bring this exact plate. You can bring a different ruck weight, 10 pounds of sand, two bricks, basically 10 pounds of something, a 10 pound dumbbell. Don't let not owning a ruck plate be the reason why you don't do a Go Ruck Light event. So, unfortunately, I'll never be in the category that you can use one of these. So, I'm just going to push this off to the side. This is the weight that you would see me show up to an event with. So, this is a 20 pound ruck plate from Go Ruck. And if you are 150 pounds or more, then this is what you get to bring. As I mentioned before, if you don't own a ruck plate, don't worry about it. Bring a 20 pound dumbbell, 20 pounds of sand, 20 pounds of something for your backpack. If you do bring sand, make sure you tape it up really nice because if water gets in there, you're in for a horrible time. We're gonna start packing this ruck just a little bit as we move through all the pieces of gear. So we've got the pack open. As I mentioned, this is the Rucker 2.0. So. These expert plates slide right in the top, which is pretty nice. There you go, ruck plate in the plate pocket. Next up on required gear, water. You have to bring a hydration bladder to your event. This is a source hydration bladder and it's the wide version. I really like the wide version. I feel like they fit in the Gorak packs better than the standard version. So it's the one I bring. In addition on the required gear list, there's a one liter Nalgene bottle. I was kind of surprised to see this because you're already bringing a two to three liter water bladder. Why do you need an extra liter of water? I emailed Gorak asking them and they basically said that Two is one, one is none. But if you know your body, then you can just bring however much you think you need. So personally, I would not be bringing a one liter water bottle because I know I do not need four liters of water for a Go Ruck Light event. This water bottle right here has a 
Pacelid leash from Knotted Cord and a Pacelid from Pacelid. So definitely not necessary for the water bottle, but they're nice. I would be leaving this thing at home. Next up on required gear, if your event is going to hit 60 degrees or less, you have to bring a windbreaker. I've got two windbreakers right here. This is the Gorak Challenge windbreaker. This is just another windbreaker that folds up nice. I've got two requirements for windbreakers. The first, that they break the wind. The second, that they fold up nice. If you're gonna have a bunch of stuff in your pack, it's so nice to have a windbreaker that folds up. You will kick yourself if you bring some giant jacket. So just a small packable windbreaker that you don't mind getting stinky and gross because you're gonna be sweating a ton in it. Next up on required gear, reflective bands. So what we've got right here is the HVSV. And this is something that we sell in the online shop at alldayruckoff.com slash store. We have a link to this and everything we're talking about in the description. You have to bring reflective straps. Gorak has their own, we'll have a link to those as well. This is what I use. This thing's been through years and years of events and it's still hanging in there. It looks ugly, but it still works. Next up, we've got $20 for cab fare, photo ID, and I recommend bringing a credit card as well. So if you have one. So here's that 20 bucks, photo ID. 20 bucks is for cab fare in case you have to quit. Photo ID is so they can ID you. And I say bring a credit card because if you're going straight out for either a drink or for food for dinner afterwards, it's nice to be not limited to your $20. And it's just easier to give a card, in my opinion. That is all the required gear. If you bring all of this to your event, you're set. If you bring your backpack with the reflective strap, with a windbreaker, a weight, your $20 cash, your cab fare, your water, you're good to go. You can take part in a GORUCK Light event. However, you might not have the easiest time. So now we're gonna go through gear that's optional, but I highly, highly recommend that you bring. The first piece of gear is either a carabiner or this is an HK quick clip that we sell in the online store. And this is just to attach your water bladder to your pack. I'll demonstrate that right now. You can see the Rucker 2.0 has a D ring up here. So if you've got a carabiner or one of these, you slide this through the D ring and then you loop it back over itself so that it's in there nice and tight and it won't be, you know, coming undone. So you can see applying good pressure, it's not moving anywhere. And now you can hang your water bladder in there. So this is obviously an optional piece of gear, but we've got our water bladder hanging now, so it's not gonna go crazy all over the place. And it keeps everything upright so that you can continue to drink water out of it. So with this in place now, we can route the hose right out the top of this. Next up on optional gear, we've got gloves. Bring, bring gloves. Many people don't even consider this optional. That's required. But you can do a GORK event without gloves. It's gonna suck. You don't know we're gonna be doing push-ups, bear crawls, your hands are gonna be touching the ground, a log, splinters are a real thing. Bring some gloves to protect your hands. I highly, highly recommend that. So I store these usually up in the top pocket because they're easier to get to. That way I can manipulate my pack during admin and then when it's time to bust them out, I know, I know exactly where they are. We're packing our ruck. We've got the gloves in there now. Next up, this is a dry bag. And I like the dry bag to store my money in and my ID because if you get in the water, your money's gonna get wet and then it's gonna be terrible. If it rips apart, you're gonna be handing whatever scraps you have left to the bartender and they're gonna hate you. Before you get to that point, just stick it in a dry bag or something similar so that it doesn't get wet. The other use for the dry bag, food. Not required to bring, 
highly, highly recommend it. I've got Kind Bar, I've got a protein bar, and then a gel and some blocks. I probably won't eat all this out of light event. I might break it out and give it to someone, you know, someone there who needs it. But I usually just go through a granola bar and or a protein bar at a light. Bring as much food as you need to survive. The events are only four to five, maybe six, six and a half hours long. They're not, you know, too long. You don't need to bring a whole box of granola bars. Just bring what you need to get through it. You'll get real food at the end when you go out and celebrate your victory. So these go right in the dry bag. I mentioned that I'm a big fan of this dry bag. We'll have a link to this in the description. I like this one so much because you roll it up, you flip it, and with most dry bags, you're done here. This one, you can compress the air out of, and it gets really small, which means it's really easy to just store somewhere in your pack. We've got our water in here, we've got our dry bag in here, we're gonna toss this windbreaker in here. Getting our ruck packed for a go ruck light. Next up, we've got Pelican cases. So I've got two different kinds here. The major difference, this one right here in my left hand is waterproof. This one in my right hand is water resistant. So if you're going in the water, this one will let no water in. This one can let some water in. Obviously the major difference between them, this one is a lot bigger. So if you've got room, you can bring this one. If you don't, you can bring this one. If you're gonna bring this Pelican case, I highly recommend put it in a dry bag. You're not going to regret that decision. It opens up, put anything in there that you want to stay dry. A great item, small first aid kit. Nothing too crazy, there's a couple bandages in this. If you cut yourself, you can stop the bleeding. Anything major, paramedics will be called. The cadre generally have a first aid kit as well, so they can tend to the injured, but this is more for if you cut yourself, scrape yourself, and you don't want to bleed over everyone's pack. No one wants to be that person who gets a cut and then you're trading rucks off, doing something with a sandbag and your blood's getting everywhere. And it's just, it's disgusting. Bandage it up if you're bleeding, bring a small little kit, you're good there. Final item that we've got kind of outside the pack here is a headlamp. This headlamp is nice, not required for a Goric light event, but I've had Goric light events in Seattle in winter start at 2 p.m. And if you've been out to the Pacific Northwest, you know that it gets pitch black by 4.30 p.m. Without a headlamp, you're in trouble. Just be smart if you're doing an event in winter in a place where it gets dark early. Find your start time, add four to six, possibly seven hours to it. And if it's dark at that time, then maybe just bring a headlamp. You don't have to get anything serious. This is from Knight Rider. It's a fairly expensive headlamp. I think it's $40. You can go to a local pharmacy, drugstore, whatever, and you can get a $3 headlamp and bring that. Totally fine. If your headlamp is not waterproof, maybe store it inside your, your container. So you can break it out when you need it. At Gorok Tough events, you're always gonna be pulling the headlamp out at night. At a light, you might never pull it out. So it doesn't really matter that it's, it's stored deep. We're gonna stick this in the bottom of the ruck. It's kind of nice that the, you can see here, the width of this is not wider than the pack. So you can store it down here just like this. So we've got pretty much all of our gear in here now. We can fold this up and we can talk about just a couple more pieces of recommended gear. First on there, this secondary handle, having a handle here and a handle here on top, one on the base, one on the top, it's nice for PT exercises. If the cadre ever tell you to reach out and touch the person in front of you and they have one of these, it's nice to just grab it, show the cadre you can touch someone. Mostly for PT, overhead presses, rut curls, any of that stuff. If you lose strap privileges, then you can still use 
these two handles slightly easier than going single handle with it we've got them in the online store made in the usa just read the reviews that's all about all i have to say about that we can zip our pack up now and get to the last piece of recommended gear so we have an entire video dedicated to the grimlock which you can find in the description but this little piece of plastic right here goes through the webbing and you put in the hydration hose close it up it locks in place and now your hose stays right here along the shoulder strap and you're set it's smart to put it a little bit lower if you have it up above and you shoulder a log that log depending on the weight can crush this thing so keep it lower then whenever you need to get to your hydration hose you can just push the button in. I mean, you can see I'm doing this one-handed right here. Open it up, it locks open, hose out, stick it back, close it up, that's it. It's a solid piece of gear, and they're like three bucks. Super cheap. This pack is ready to go for a Gorak Light event. If you're signed up for an event or thinking of signing up for an event, hopefully you found this video helpful, and hopefully you feel more confident in your gear for your GoRuck Light event. General recommendations, pack your ruck at least a couple days in advance. That way you know if you're forgetting something. And then with your ruck packed, you're ready to go to your event. For more than just a GoRuck Light event, you can see that this pack does have a padded hip belt on it, which GoRuck does sell. They are handy. They're nice to have for events. You can distribute the weight between your shoulders and your hips. If people have them, I say, give them a shot and bring them, but by no means are they in the required gear category, especially for a light. For a tough or a heavy, it might be more in that really nice to have, but for a light, it doesn't matter as much. Again, I hope you got some good information out of this video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you like our videos, subscribe to our channel. Would truly appreciate that. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and we'll get back to you. Thanks for taking the time to watch this and remember, attitude is everything, keep yours positive, and drink hard, rock harder.